Hello everyone. So here I have added integumentary system, medical terms, abbreviations, prefixes and suffixes as well as root words is also added exclusively for your interview preparation. If you have a clear idea about these things, then your aptitude test will be really, really easy. Now we'll see the medical terms. Dermatitis means inflammation of the skin, eczema, non-infectious inflammatory skin disease, psoriasis, a chronic skin condition that produces lesion, melanoma, type of skin cancer, carcinoma, a cancerous tumor arising in the epithelial tissue of the skin. Please write down these medical terms and their definition in your notebook. And sixth one is alopecia, loss of hair from the scalp or the body. And cyanosis, bluish discoloration of the skin due to poor circulation. Hyperhidrosis, abnormally excessive sweating that is not related to heat. Keloid, overgrowth of scar tissue, lesion, any abnormal change in the structure of tissue due to disease or injury. Cellulitis, a bacterial infection of the skin and underlying tissue leading to swelling, redness and pain. Vitiligo, a condition where the skin loses the pigment cells resulting in discolored patches. Cirrhosis, abnormality, abnormally dry skin. Uticaria, hives, an allergic skin reaction. Onychomyosis, fungal infection of the nails. Impetigo, a contagious bacterial skin infection forming blisters. Seborrhea, overproduction of sebum by the sebaceous gland. Lupus erythromatous, an autoimmune disease that causes inflammation. Deguitous ulcer or pressure ulcer, ulcer caused by prolonged pressure of the skin. Laceration, a deep cut or tear in the skin or the flesh. Now comes abbreviation. BX means biopsy. CA is cancer. Derm means dermatology. FX is fracture. H is hydrandentis operativa. SCC squamous cell carcinoma. BCC basal cell carcinoma. AK actinic keratosis. SLE systemic lupus erythromatous. MRSA methicillin resistant. Staphylococcus aureus. ECZ, eczema, HSV, herpes simplex virus, HPV, human papilloma virus, HRT, hyperkeratosis, DX diagnosis, PX prognosis. Next we will see about prefix. Epi means above, sub means under or low, intra means within, trans means across or through, para means near or beside, hyper means over or excessive. The examples are also given epi, epidermis, sub means subcutaneous, intra means intradermal, for trans, transdermal, para, parenchyma, hyper, hyper, keratosis. And next we'll see suffix itis means inflammation, dermatitis, inflammation of the skin. Oma means tumor or mass melanoma, tumor melanocytes. Osis means abnormal condition, keratosis. Ectomy, surgical removal. Um, derma is a skin condition. Plasty is surgical repair, dermatoplasty. Site means cell, melanocyte, pigment producing cell. Next comes abbreviation uh, that we have already seen. BX is biopsy, CA is cancer, derm means dermatology, FX is fracture, HS is hy uh, hydradentis. Superativa. A description for those things also given. You can go through it or else you can write and keep it. SCC is squamous cell carcinoma, type of skin cancer. BCC is basal cell carcinoma, most common uh, form of skin cancer. AK is actinic keratosis. And uh, SLE is systemic lupus erythromatous, autoimmune disease affecting the skin. MRSA is methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus, antibiotic resistant bacterial infection. Next is SPF, sun protection factor. Uh, UV is ultraviolet radiation that causes damage to the cell. ECZ is eczema, inflammatory skin condition causing itchiness and rashes. HSV is herpes simplex virus 
causes cold sores and genital herpes hpv is human papilloma virus virus linked to warts and skin cancer next we can see the medical terms so dermatitis is inflammation of the skin i have seen i have given the image also you can go through it example allergic condition that contact dermatitis occurs when the skin reacts to an allergen next comes cellulitis bacterial infection of the skin and subcutaneous tissue example cellulitis commonly affect the leg but can occur anywhere in the body next comes psoriasis a uh, chronic autoimmune condition that causes a rapid build up of skin cells psoriasis result in scaling and inflammation of the skin icd code also given here and uh, the next condition is if you see the images now you can relate uh, those things eczema eczema is a condition that makes the skin red inflamed and itchy atopic eczema is a common in children and often appears on the face and limbs next condition is melanoma a type of skin cancer that develops from the melanocytes example early detection of melanoma increase the chances of successful treatment next condition is pressure ulcer so <clears throat> injury to the skin and underlying tissue resulting from the prolonged pressure example bedridden patients are at risk for pressure ulcer if not properly repositioned that is pressure ulcer next condition is herpes zoster or shingles so why it is a viral infection that causes a painful rash example shingles usually affect one side of the body forming a stripe of blisters next comes seborrheic dermatitis skin condition causing scaly patches and red skin primarily on the scalp example commonly known as dandruff when it affects the scalp that is seborrheic dermatitis you can see the image seborrheic dermatitis will be looking like this next one is vitiligo a condition where the skin loses its pigment cells leading to discolored patches example vitiligo often uh, first appears on sun exposed areas like the hands and the face icd code also given so always relate the condition to the picture so that you won't forget that condition next is keloid overgrowth of scar tissue that develops at the site of a skin injury example keloids are raised and can expand beyond the original wound area that is called as keloids overgrowth of the scar tissue clear so next we will uh, see about impetigo impetigo a contagious condition skin infection usually caused by staphylococcus or streptococcus bacteria example impetigo typically presents as red sore on the face especially around the nose and the mouth that is called as impetigo next condition is utic area or hives an allergic skin reaction causing red itchy welts example hives can be triggered by allergic reaction to food medication or other irritants 
it will be looking like this uticaria or hives will be looking like this you can just check out the image next comes acne vulgaris so a chronic inflammatory condition affecting the hair follicles and sebaceous gland example acne is common during the adolescence and can occur on the face back as well as on the chest area it's a inflammatory condition of the skin that is called as acne vulgaris similar like it's, it's a pimple alopecia areata so an autoimmune condition that causes hair loss in small patches so example alopecia areata can affect any hair bearing area most often the scalp you can check out the image for that next condition is erythema erythema is redness of the skin caused by increased blood flow in superficial capillaries example erythema can occur due to infection or inflammation or sunburn erythema is normally redness So that's all about the condition. So understanding the integumentary system is crucial for accurate medical coding. Focus on the key terms like dermatitis, psoriasis, cellulitis, keloid, vitiligo and melanoma. Memorize important ICD codes that are related with each condition for quick reference. Practice identifying condition based on the medical record and clinical description. Stay familiar with abbreviations and terminologies. For interview preparation, few tips I have added. You can review ICD-10 Chapter 12, Disease of Skin and Subcutaneous Tissue thoroughly. Understand the pathophysiology. Know how each condition develops its medical impact. Practice coding exercises. Focus on case scenarios for better familiarity. Document carefully. Pay attention to specific area. Next step is practice MCQs regularly to build speed and accuracy. Revise key terms and explore real case studies. Join, learn with Danya. Medical coding training for expert guidance and placement support. Follow us for more tips and training updates. In YouTube, you can follow me in Learn with Danya. Instagram, Learn with Danya. WhatsApp, if you have any queries, you can WhatsApp in this number. Guaranteed placement is given. Thank you for your attention and thank you so much for watching. And if you find it useful, please do share it with your friends also. And don't forget to take notes of the content, whatever I have given here. It will be really, really helpful for your interview. Hope so. If you have cleared your interview, please do drop your result as a comment. Waiting for your result. Thank you.